Hi everybody, Jennifer Blevins Smith with Integral Clinic Solutions, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Navigating the Business of Medicine. Today I want to just briefly talk about insurance payments using virtual credit cards. And if you feel like I'm being on a soapbox, I apologize, but I just have to tell you, I get really annoyed with insurances paying their portion of a claim using a virtual credit card. The reason why I don't like this is one, it can be confusing to the staff and to the patients. Two, it costs money to manually enter credit card payments on most merchant service systems. And three, I understand that they're trying to save paper and not send paper checks, but what happened to just making electronic funds transfers or EFTs mandated? It is really frustrating to me when I receive a virtual credit card payment when I'm on the client side, when I'm working at a doctor's office, and I call them, I tell them I do not want payments using virtual credit cards, and they ask me why. It's like an interrogation, and it's like, well, first of all, it's my choice, and I just don't feel like I should have to tell you, but I let them know that it's expensive in most cases, and if you're not aware that it costs you extra to manually enter credit cards into your service of whomever you use to process credit card payments, then you should look into that, because usually it's a higher percentage than if you were to swipe or use a chip, so definitely check that out if you haven't, but it's expensive. Plus, you're at the mercy of whomever is getting the mail or the fax when it comes over, because you know sometimes they fax it over instead of mail it in the snail mail, and you're hoping that your staff sees it. I just feel like it could be really easily overlooked because it's just on a white piece of paper, and it just has looks like a, a little credit card square on it with numbers, and then you have to read it, and I just feel like it looks like kind of a spam type fax. And if it comes through the mail, I think it's a little bit different. It, get look, it could get looked at a little closer, but when it comes through the fax and you have staff looking at your faxes, they might not have any idea that it's a payment from an insurance company. So, you know, I get those, I call them, I ask them to cancel that credit card payment, and I ask them if there's a way to sign up for EFTs for future payments, and I ask them to send a paper check for the current payment. I like to track these as well to make sure we're getting the money, so I will write down on that piece of paper that the credit card information is on. I will write down whom I've talked to, what date, what time, what they're going to be doing, how long it should take to get that paper check, and then also any instructions of where to go to sign up for electronic funds transfer. I'm not sure if you're aware, but as of June 1st, Yes, June 1st, United Healthcare no longer sends paper checks. They will not send paper checks to anybody. So if you haven't signed up for electronic funds transfer, you will get virtual credit cards. And I learned something the other day that they send the EOBs with those virtual credit cards, but if you have enrolled in ERAs, once you process that credit card payment, the ERAs will go through to the clearinghouse, but they won't go through to the clearinghouse until you've processed that payment. So, you know, there's so many little tricks here and there, and I didn't know about that, but you know, they're gonna get you some way. I mean, there are some where you sign up for electronic funds transfer if they use a third party like PaySpan, Redcard, uh, Zealous, they might be charging you a per transaction fee or an end of the month fee for a total of your transactions, but they're gonna get their money somewhere. But to be honest with you, personally, I don't like the virtual credit card payments. They cost money, they're harder to track, they can get lost, and to be honest with you, let's be real. EFT is so nice because it goes right into your bank account, it's easy to reconcile, hopefully you are reconciling your payments to your EOBs and postings, and it just, at the end of the day, in my opinion, that's the way to go. So if you're getting a lot of virtual credit card payments, and if you look at those 
papers a little closer, there is a phone number to call to ask for a paper check or a different method. There is a way to opt out if you want to. Don't feel like you're stuck in there. So definitely look at those a little closer, change it over if you want to. I know everybody's different. You might really like those processing and, and virtual credit cards and that's great, but personally I feel like it's just another way for the insurance company to not try to pay. And I know that sounds terrible. I'm not against insurance companies per se, but I definitely prefer EFTs when it comes to trying to do the accounting side, reconciliation side, and tracking side of money coming into businesses. Because let's be real, the smaller the practice, the more important it is to make sure that you're collecting all the money due to you as fast as possible. So. Anyway, I would love to hear from you. Please leave in the comments how you feel about them, your experience with them, if you like them, um, any other payers in your area that, like I shared with you about United Healthcare, if there's any kind of nuances or things that you didn't know about that you discovered that other people should know, please, I encourage you to leave that in the comments. Take care of yourself, smash the thumbs up if today's video was helpful, and subscribe to my channel. All right, you guys, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.